This is Miss Simmons. My husband, Mr. Johnson. How do you do, Miss Simmons? How do you do? And Hazel Burke. Oh, hiya, Miss Simmons. Boy, you're sure lucky to have a chance of taking care of this baby. Ain't he a doozy? He looks healthy enough. Oh, he's got a terrific personality. An infant that young hasn't had time to develop personality. Oh, yeah? Well, when you get a chance to know this one. How do you like the nursery? Well, it should be satisfactory as soon as I've rearranged everything. Now, I think this crib could come down this way a bit. Oh. And that bath and that should be against the wall. How'd she know what I was going to call my invention? Invention! <laughs> <laughs> Where can I dispose of this dirty thing? Dirty thing? That's our Harold's teddy bear. And he don't like to be held by one ear. Mrs. Johnson, there's one thing I want to make clear right from the beginning. Of course, Miss Simmons. What is it? I'll expect your maid to stay out of my nursery. Your nursery? My nursery, as I plan to stay out of her kitchen. But, my good woman, you... I have full responsibility of the infant, and I brook no interference. Is that clear? Hazel's not our maid. She's our friend. Well, that's your privilege, of course. <laughs> now, if you would all get out of the room so that I can start my routine. <laughs> One thing that burns me is people that <laughs> under my nose. <laughs> and another thing, she keeps that uniform of her so starched, she's liable to bruise the poor little baby. Are you still grousing about that nurse? Well, he's such a sweet little thing. Is he as sweet as I was when I was his age? No baby could ever be as sweet as you were, Harold. You're darn tootin'. And another thing, babies need more than bottles and baths. They need that little thing called L-O-V-E, love. Agreed, and that's exactly what the Johnsons are there to give him. L-O-V-E, love. <laughs> <laughs> You mean we're not to be allowed in the nursery at all, Miss Simmons? That's exactly what I mean, Mrs. Johnson. But I won't make the same mistake again, Miss Simmons. I can assure you of that. No, it's much better this way, and it's much easier for me to keep baby on schedule. His name is Herbert, and he's named after me. Mr. Johnson, I take care of more than 20 babies a year, and I cannot be expected to remember a new name every few weeks. So I call them all Baby. Oh, I see. Miss Simmons, when you're rocking him to sleep, would it be all right if Mr. Johnson and I stood out here and sang to him? We've been practicing the lullabies that Hazel taught us, and we... That is absolutely out of the question. I don't believe in lullabies. Now, I'm going to have to close the door. It's time for baby's bath, and you're creating a draft. Oh, Herbert, it's not fair. Our own flesh and blood. There, there, my dear. Hazel said that next to rocking him to sleep, his bath was the most fun. Now we won't be able to even watch. Impossible situation. And I'm not going to take it sitting down. I'm going to cope. But what can you do, Herbert? I'm going to dismiss the miserable creature. But we won't get anyone else. You know she was the only nurse available at such short notice. We'll care for my namesake ourselves. Oh, Herbert, do you think we could? No doubt about it. We couldn't have had a finer teacher than Hazel. And she herself said, all we need is a little more experience. That's right. And we certainly can't get it standing outside the nursery door. Exactly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going in there. Oh, Herbert. You're a tiger. <laughs> well, thank you, my dear. <laughs> Three lovely ones. Three. I'll take two. One for me. One for you and... Uh-uh. Will you please mind your own business? George, that's no way for a Yale man to talk to a lady. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll take one. One, one. for you and three for the dealer. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I'll bet one dollar. Suck his bad. Well, I know you're bluffing, but I'm short on courage tonight. I believe you. Well, I'm up. Me too. Oh, come on, coward. Straight. Ace high. <laughs> oh. Mr. B, you want to pay me back that 250 I paid out for you yesterday? <laughs> Hazel, telephone. M Mrs. Johnson. Oh, I hope.